What is that guys, g Sanity here and welcome to another potential summer transfer video and today I'm going to be going through my players and as you can tell by the title that will be uh, Chebe Alonso or Ben Yang as he's been requested a lot and says Fabregas, remember if you're looking for home team coins go check out utcontrails.com, link will be below in the description and also last episode if you missed it I covered uh, Lescott, Iron Robin and Cristiano Ronaldo and as always if you get 1000 likes that would be awesome, uh, yesterday's video went down ridiculously well, I think it's on like 1200 likes uh, as I'm doing this, which is incredible by you guys. And if you do that again, that would be awesome. Um, also, comment below players you'd like me to cover in future episodes. So, we can start things off though with a, a big name straight away. That's going to be Chabi Alonso. Um, I had a, a fair few comments asking about him uh, on the last episode. And there are really only two teams interested, but um, this current club is obviously Real Madrid. He's a centre midfielder slash CDM. He is a Spain international and he was born on the 25th of November 1981 which makes him 31 years old and uh, stats this season I did find a, uh, a good website thanks to someone posting in the comments and uh, I believe it was ESPN's uh, FC.com or something like that. Uh, tells you the games uh, in the league at least, uh, the goals and the assists. Um, he played 26 games, 0 goals and 4 assists. Them stats are kind of, they're quite hard to judge how a player has done as a centre midfielder that plays more a defensive role. He's not going to get goals and assists. He's going to get uh, the more tackle success rate um, and stuff like that. So Alonso is obviously a big name in football. The reasons people might want to sign him. Actually, the, inter oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the interesting clubs are Chelsea and Liverpool. Um, it's, uh, there probably are others in the background. Like If he ever becomes available, I'm, uh, I'm sure that a lot of clubs will uh, perk up some interest and bid for him. But the reasons they might be interested, though. He's a Spain international. He's uh, like, had experience at the top level of football uh, in multiple oh, two countries, uh, being that for Liverpool and Real Madrid, and uh, he's also got great experience at international level, being a Spain international, winning the World Cup, and uh, two Euro uh, Euros as well, so it's pretty well going by him. Uh, but also, he's a world-class player, and he's one of the best passes uh, still around, so that adds uh, a lot of things to people's midfield. And uh, Chelsea, the reason they're interested though, uh, as uh, apparently Jose Mourinho is on the verge of coming to Chelsea again, and uh, according to a lot of papers in England, at least, uh, apparently he wants to bring Chabi Alonso with him. As a Liverpool fan, I would hate to see Alonso in a Chelsea shirt. Um, I don't know why, it's just, it's just, I just don't would. <laughs> but Liverpool, on the other hand, um, who I do support, um, he's obviously a former player. He is loved by the club and, of course, the fans are a lot. And he does still live, uh, visit Liverpool, uh, Liverpool's matches at Anfield uh, quite a bit as well. I, watching on Sky Sports News, um, I see him in the stands a fair bit. So that could be a tough, uh, tough one. Whether or not he's leaving, he's not got long left in his contract, so Real Madrid might want to cash in. Uh, on Alonso himself in the summer. It depends though, he might leave next summer. Uh, we can't see him being at Real Madrid for too long. The next player is going to be, as I said before, one of the most requested players, and that's Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. And he is a striker slash right wing on place for Saint Etienne in the French League. He's from Gabon, and uh, he's born on June the 18th, 1989, making him 23 years old. Uh, so he's quite young, and his stats this season are very impressive. Um, 34 games, 19 goals, and 9 assists. So that's, that's, that's a good goal to game ratio. The interested clubs, there's going to be three on the screen, but there's two extras as well. They are Inter Milan, Newcastle, Arsenal, Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, the reasons they might be interested then, he has had a very impressive uh, season going by them stats. He is very pacey and a lot of people like the pace now. Uh, not just, just on FIFA, but um, it's nice to have a pace down the wing or pace through the middle always works. Um, especially if they've got some talent on the ball as well. And uh, another thing... He, he would improve a lot of attacks uh, across like clubs because he's, he doesn't just play striker, he can play on the wing as well. So he's, he's quite versatile in that sense. Inter Milan, they're trying to close the gap on AC Milan and Juventus, who are their two big rivals uh, at the top of Serie A. I believe they, they're drifting quite a bit at the moment. So they may look uh, into a Bamiyang themselves. Newcastle, they are also looking to improve their attacking threat as uh, they're struggling this season. And Arsenal how, are looking to spend, apparently they've signed uh, Jovetic, which I called by the way. And uh, a Bamiyang could be uh, in the interest of Arsene Wenger. Um, Chelsea and PSG are others linked, but not as much as the three I've mentioned. The final player of this episode is going to be Cesc Fabregas, and uh, he plays for Barcelona. He is a fellow centre midfielder, same as Xabi Alonso, but he can play Cam at all the, uh, the number, I forgot what it's called, number nine. Um, well, the basic centre forward and the striker or kind of thing. He does that for Barcelona when Messi is sometimes out. Um, there was a Spanish international, born May the 4th, 1987. That means his birthday was the other day, actually. Uh, he's 26 years old, and uh, his stats this season, they're very impressive. People say he's had a bit of a, a drought or something, but 28 games, 10 goals, 10 assists. That, that kind of proves wrong. I know he scored a hat-trick in one of them, but that's very, very impressive, uh, especially for a midfielder. But the interesting clubs, I've only gone with the one, and that is Arsenal. Arsenal heavily linked now, 
And uh, the reason for that, um, there's been a lot of rumours this summer, and he's a quality pass with the ball, um, and he could potentially be available from Barcelona, as uh, apparently they're looking to finance a, re a rebuilding job at Barcelona. So that means they might have to sell some players to bring in some bigger names, um, and Fabregas could be one of the players that makes way. Uh, but Arsenal, obviously being a former player, uh, he made his name at Arsenal, basically. Um, I know he came from the Barca's youth, but Arsenal, did, they helped him quite a bit. And Arsene Wenger, I know their relationship together is very, very good. So that could help with the uh, transfer. Um, and obviously, like I said, he could be used as a, a funding player uh, to help Barca improve their overall squad. Um, but I think I, I can see him going to Arsenal, but I don't know if it will happen yet. He's only been there a year. Uh, so I, I give it a few more years and he might be back at the Emirates. But guys, that has been this episode. If this get 1,000 likes, as always, that would be great and much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, which is now below the video. And also, uh, make sure to comment below some players you'd like to see in the next episode. So thank you for watching the video. Please drop a like, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you in the season tomorrow. Yeah.